Hello everybody and welcome back to one. So today's episode's intro got a little messed up. We are fishing at the Fairmont Lake chain. I haven't been to this lake chain in probably more than a year. And apart from that, really the only time I've ever got down here is to ice fish. I haven't really done super well at these lakes. For today's project, I had to drive down to the area for a school related thing. Well, I had a few hours to kill, so you can darn well bet I threw the boat on the back of the truck. Now I believe we launched at Sisselton and we went north on the chain. I'm editing out of my car at the moment. So without further ado, we're gonna hop in the bass tracker. We'll find some bass. o'clock for midday update now honesty i'm really rusty and i've just been hooking up with everything but a fish weeds docks reeds power we gonna bounce through a channel might fish along the way see if there's anything but we're gonna go into this other lake so yeah oh here we go got one Little baby bass. Well, fish is a fish. Just pulled Buddy out from underneath this bridge. Actually, I'm seeing some stuff over there too yet. Got him on a square bill. Normally, I, I wouldn't like putz around in like a channel like this just because usually there's boat traffic and whatnot. But I'm the only one out on the lake. I have not seen a single other person out here on the lake today. It is like middle of a Thursday, so. That just came on this, uh, I think this is a Bass Pro. No, this is a KVD. KVD 2.0 square bill. Bouncing off the rocks. Sartreuse, because we're fishing disgusting green water. Seems to be a very good combo for Southern Minnesota. Hopefully they get bigger than that in this lake, but I am starting to doubt it. Let's go do some fishing. Oh, just spooked some. This is pretty cool. This is just right in the middle of uh, Fairmont here. I'm not sure which lake we're going into now. But we're leaving Sisselton. Oh, there we go, got one. Got one. Yeah. Look at that. Another dink. Oh, shoot. So I was working it from the other side. So let's try that. Peace. As usual in all the latest episodes, we are fishing with some experimental lures. This is another fresh prototype. Pretty got out, used it a little bit the other day. Works really well. Works extremely well, actually. I will say though, it is shallow back here. getting bigger probably about a pound and a half and fish is a fish quick let him go just pulled him right off the side of this wall here on the other side all right three fish oh i think we have another one i think we got another one no we got weeds That's a lot of duckies I think we got another one. Yeah, we do have another one. It's just weird because he's not fighting like they normally do. Oh my gosh, this might be big. This might be a big bass. This is a huge bass. Holy smokes, it's like a five pounder. I am, I'm not even kidding you. This is my biggest bass of the year so far, right here. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, this is a big fish. This is a good fish. Oh my gosh, look at that tank. <laughs> look at that tank we just pulled out, man. That is a good fish. Big healthy LMV. 
we'll let this big mama go. Came right off of that log pile right there. Oh, there we go. It's just crazy. That was a good sized fish. I'm kind of surprised I caught that thing. I really had no idea we were going to come here and we were going to do so well today. Uh, I kind of thought this was going to be a bit of a Hail Mary pass. Well, last time I went underneath that bridge, in this boat specifically, it looked a lot different. So we had the old outboard on and uh, when you run your starting battery to your trolling motor, you have the potential to drain that starting battery all the way down to zero. So we had to wrap a rope around the flywheel, pull the rope to get the bait. We got it started, we got it back to the landing, so hopefully we don't have the same issue today. I made sure the batteries are both charged. We have three in the boat, two for the trolling motor, one for the outboard, because I'm not getting stuck out here again today. We'll see. If, if today's luck keeps up and we find a few more fish, I don't know, man. I don't think we're gonna have too many issues. terrible of a day if you guys want to see me come back and fish this lake again please let me know down in the comment section below maybe we can do some this fall maybe we can work some more timber i don't know you guys let me know with all that being said today's mission was a mission complete